Thank you very much. Good morning, everybody. I think we, are we still having breakfast or what? Good morning. I think uh, Stuart and I brought the sunshine to Toronto for today, so that's <laughs> great. So I'm going to talk a little bit today about global mindset and how that impacts international education, uh, particularly at our institution in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, you know, I think about my own personal life and my professional life, and the single biggest impact that has been in my personal and professional life was my experiences coming from a very non-diverse, unicultural environment in suburban Long Island. You could probably hear my New York accent. Um, and all of a sudden, my world opened up and was exploding. And that was through international education, through creating a global mindset, through exchange, and through study abroad. So I'm the senior international officer and associate dean at, at Nova Southeastern University for International Affairs. Um, my biggest flag at the university has been how do we create a global mindset in students, not just our international students, but our domestic students as well. Um, when I talk to international students that come to us, and we've got about 1,300 of those at the university from 106 countries, I talk to them and I ask them, why are you coming to the US? What is important for you in international education? And they tell me the number one thing that I hear consistently across the board is, we're coming here for diversity. Students want to get out of that bubble, that preconceived notion, that preconceived environment that they're living in, and move out and experience what diversity is. And this is exactly what happened to me. Um, the next one is they want to experience a multicultural environment. Um, of course, you probably know South Florida creates that kind of environment almost immediately. However, what's more important is that we create intentional opportunities for students to move into those kinds of things, and it just doesn't happen by chance. They also come and tell me, well, I want to come because there are unique curricular and co-curricular opportunities. At our institution, we are kind of unique in the U.S. because we're 70 percent graduate and 30 percent undergraduate. Most institutions are the reverse. So we capitalize on the fact that we've got a lot of graduate experiences that are built into the undergraduate program and that are embedded with a global mindset through there. They want to experience what U.S. campus life is because that's a whole different experience. They're looking for CPT and OPT. If you don't know about CPT and OPT, those are curricular experiences that can happen within a program and those that can happen after a program and hopefully for some lead to sponsorship. And of course, they talk about often improving their own career uh, chances out there. So for me, the core of international education is really that establishment of a global mindset. And there are lots of definitions out there about global mindset. Here's one I just want to share with you. And it's the ability to move beyond the limits of pre-existing behavior and ethnocentric thinking and function effectively with the difference in diversity that one encounters. And I think that sums up what we're trying to do at the university. So those of the people who know me in the profession and of course at the university say, oh, he's the global mindset guy. Because everything that we're doing at the university and everything that we're creating at the university has to have the ability to create global leaders and global citizens, which is what we really want to do. It's no longer good enough for students to just come out with a diploma and come out in a unilateral kind of way and thinking, well, this is how I'm thinking, this is my degree in engineering, and this is where I'm going. These students are working in multinational teams. They're working in a diverse world. They have to be able to survive and do that. So I use four R's when I talk about this developing students to be global citizens through four R's. One, examination, meaning examination of oneself, introspection, self-awareness. Education, the component that talks about multiculturalism, globalization, cultures, and leadership. And leadership is a key for all of our programs as well. Those meaningful and relevant experiences that students think. And then their exposure to diverse faculty, diverse students, diverse community. So examination, education, experiences, and exposure are the four key keys that we use throughout that. And we do that in a variety of ways. In our first year seminar, which every student must take, in that has a global component to that. So students are coming in from day one, both domestic, US, and international, and thinking to see, what is this? What do we do here? How do I really understand other cultures? How do I move? How do I function in this environment when I'm coming from an environment where everybody in my community is white? Everybody in my community speaks English, and now all of a sudden I'm immersed into this environment where they're hearing multiple languages. 106 countries on campus means a lot of languages on campus. Okay? So every student takes the UNIV or the first year seminar. We also have a very strong experiential education component at the university, and that's meaningful, hands-on experiences that students must do in order to graduate. 
So they do that through a variety of pillars. We use five different pillars. Faculty mentored research, experiential coursework, professional growth and internships, community engagement, and travel exploration. So students can fulfill any of those, but they must have six units of that in order to graduate. All of those have a global theme embedded through there. Another way, uh, which is kind of unique, is something that we call our Razor's Edge Scholars Programs. Razor is the shark. You know the shark? <laughs> Razor is the shark. Students who participate in these programs are students who are student leaders. They're students who are making an impact on campus. They're engaging the unengaged. They're students who we want to leave both a personal and cohort legacy. Those exist in a variety of areas. These are full-fledged minors, which all have a global component to it. They're in leadership. They're in global engagement, they're in research, they're in entrepreneurship, they're in the arts, and they're in teaching and learning. Students come from a variety of majors. I oversee the global leadership and the global engagement program, and we've got students in biology, we've got students in engineering, we have students in the arts, et cetera, but they're all looking for one thing. They're looking to become global citizens and global leaders. That program, by the way, and we'll talk to you about it later at the table, carries a large scholarship each year for four years. And then finally, for us, and there's a lot more to talk about, but I know we're limited in time, um, you know the old adage about think globally and act locally? That's no longer the adage anymore. It's really do, the, do both at the same time. It's think and act. Think globally and act locally. So, you know, I've been running around for the, this is my 42nd year in education, and I've been running around saying the single most important thing that happened to me was I got out of my bubble, I experienced what the world was like, 42 years later, I'm still doing that, but we're doing that for students. We are all in the business of changing lives. That's what we do every day. That's what you do every day. Your impact can make an incredible difference for students as they move forward. So I'm going to wave my global flag again. I'm going to hope that you come and speak with us as well, and I'd be here to answer any questions later on. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.